Facts First presents An Asian fungus that causes terrifying symptoms with one touch has been spotted halfway across the world. Ray Palmer is a self-confessed fungi fanatic. Mushrooms and fungi are his passion, and his passion has taken him all over the world. He's enjoyed searching for rare types of fungi and mushrooms for quite some time. His passion for fungus took him to a tropical rainforest and he discovered something incredible and unexpected. While searching the rainforest, he came across a fungus that botanists call Podostrum cornotomi. The fungus is also known as poison fire coral. For decades, it's believed that this species is found in Asian countries, such as Korea and Japan. The problem with Ray's discovery was that he wasn't in either of those countries. He wasn't even in Asia. There are a few reasons that this fungus got its nickname poison fire coral. First, the fungus does look like coral. It has the same shape and color. Since it's bright red, fire is included in the name. And finally, it's called poison because it is highly toxic. For years, people didn't know the dangers of this fungus. In 1999, five Japanese people drank some sake that they had soaked with one gram of poison fire coral. Within two days, each of the people who consumed the sake were dead. The experts believed that they had no idea what they were putting in their sake and they didn't know how toxic it was. The experts who treated those who died believed that they were wearing gloves when they picked the fungus. That's because it is toxic even to the touch. It's actually the only fungus that is so toxic that just touching it can result in a severe reaction. The experts were sure that if they had touched the mushrooms before adding it into their sake, they would have experienced the adverse reaction and would not have tried to consume it. According to Dr. Matt Barrett, a fungi expert, the poison fire coral is highly unusual. During an interview with the BBC in October 2019, Dr. Barrett said of the hundred or so toxic mushrooms that are known to researchers, this is the only one in which toxins can be absorbed through the skin. That means merely touching this mushroom can be fatal. It's always been believed that poison fire coral was found only in Japan and Korea. A few specimens were discovered in China, Thailand, and Papua New Guinea. And that's why Ray was shocked when he was searching a rainforest in far north Queensland, Australia. He was searching a patch of rainforest in Red Lynch, which is a suburb of the city of Cairns. He was concerned that he found something that was lethal and highly toxic right in his own city. The question on everybody's mind was how did that deadly fungus get from Asia to Australia? It's not like the two places are even close to each other. How could a deadly fungus find its way from Asia to Australia? Well, it's highly unlikely that somebody would pick the deadly fungus and then plant it in Australia, but Dr. Barrett does have some idea of how the fungus got to another continent. He believes it was a natural occurrence. He says fungi are dispersed by tiny wind-blown spores, and that allows them to travel very long distances. Dr. Barrett believes that the spores could have been blown into northern Australia thousands of years ago. He believes that since Australia is not a common location where people search for mushrooms and fungi, it's just simply been overlooked all these years. According to Dr. Barrett, Ray was likely the first person to scour that rainforest looking for various types of mushrooms. Most other people who enter a rainforest aren't looking for mushrooms. They don't know much about the poison fire coral. Hundreds of people could have stepped right over that fungi without even noticing it. Since Ray knew all about this particular lethal fungi, though, he didn't walk right over it, he got in for a closer look. Ray wanted to tell his story to warn others who happened to be out in the rainforests of Australia. He understands how lethal these mushrooms are. Just touching one can cause a severe reaction, and consuming them can result in death. He wanted the people of Australia to understand how dangerous it is, so they avoid it if they come across it. While the poison fire coral is lethal, it's not the only type of mushroom out there that is. There are plenty of wild mushrooms that are poisonous when consumed, so you really shouldn't try and eat any wild mushroom you come across. The safest way to consume mushrooms is simply to buy them in the supermarket, where only the safe mushrooms are sold. Subscribe for more!